so we jump straight into it and you need to make your face white. I'm using a really cheap makeup sponge because ain't nobody touching my beauty blender. And then you need to just paint circles around your eyes so that you can keep them separate from where you're going to paint them black. So that paint doesn't go grey because then it's really hard to make it completely matte. And then just literally dab all along your face. Um, you might find it will go patchy or streaky but my trick is just to let it completely dry and then pop on a second layer and it should go something like this. <laughs> then take your black and just make your big round circles. They don't have to be perfect circles. I uh, made a few errors so I literally just turned them into lines which I was going to use. They kind of look a bit like a weirdly shaped onion. Um, yeah, just do that on both sides of your face, on either eye, and fill them in. But I didn't fill them in completely. I started to put some red um, to make kind of like a cut crease. So it's kind of like doing makeup on your face but you're actually using face paint. So I was trying to blend it as much as possible into the black. Um, I just painted, I used sort of like the red but then let it dry out on the brush and then went in with black so that way it made it kind of soft and you didn't get any patchy lines either. Once I had done that I then took the Snazaroo sort of lighter pink and put that onto the lids. Um, I put a bit too much on the paintbrush here so it kind of went quite thick but then I was able to just blend that in anyway which made it nice and blended so you can see there and then I just popped all the black on around the bottom to cover the eyes so you only have the red at the top, you can have red, blue, whatever colour you want, I just chose red and then just tidied up the edges and neaten them all the way around. So next I wanted to do some shading so I literally took the white and some black, mixed them together with lots of water so that it wasn't too pigmented and I could, if I made a mistake, I could cover it basically. Um, so pat that around anywhere where it's curvy and then I went in with a thin white brush to add some highlight and make it look a bit more 3D and realistic. Next, um, it's all about making your nose black. So literally, there's no science behind it. You just need to paint an area of your nose black. Um, I covered my nostrils and all the way around the sides and here's why certain distractions make you go very, very wrong. Have you seen me? It's my Halloween look. For what? Halloween. <laughs> so this was really badly. Are you doing something? A video. So as soon as my mum finally realised I was just painting my face for fun and she doesn't understand YouTube, I finally got onto painting my mouth. So you literally just want to um, paint a line across your mouth. So I used the parting of my lips to actually put a line in between and then take it out either side of the corner of my mouth. Going up to my cheeks, I kind of chose like the middle area to take it up to, you don't want to go too far. And then to create the teeth, literally I put really thin lines together in no kind of order, just so that they kind of started thick at the middle and then as you move towards, away from the lips, thinner. There's no real art to this, you just kind of have to make it look as creepy as possible so there's no order. Uh, next I just needed to make sort of the big smile part of the mouth, so using my cheeks as kind of like following the contour line down and then made it into a big round sort of part where the mouth opens. I just drew teeth and then filled in all the gaps and painted it black. So around the mouth I just made the teeth a bit bigger to match the other sides of my cheeks and then used sort of a grey to draw like a faint mouth. And then it's just about covering your hairline with lots of black and I just sort of created sort of hollows of my forehead as well coming down. Um, again, you don't have to be particularly neat. Um, I made some extra sort of errors, which I masked with by using cracks into the skin and just painting lines going down the face. I 
just went in and defined a few areas and giving extra detail by putting lines over the mouth, around the chin area and some cracks coming down my face even more. Next, I popped on some lashes just to complete the look. I used some really old lashes, so they're really sticky and probably going in the bin now. And then just to make it look a bit more Halloweeny and sparkly, I used some white glitter. It's actually edible cake glitter uh, that also makes a really great highlight. So I just popped that all around any of the white areas and then got a little bit gangster and I had to give myself a couple of gold teeth. I'm actually using the Barry M uh, gold glitter dust here and um, now I've just put like sort of paint onto my backcombing brush and then you splattered it across my face to give it a kind of glittery effect. Then sprinkled some extra glitter on my eyes, it was purple glitter and then all the leftover glitter I actually used to put on my eyelids which made it look really nice and gave me a bit more of an electric pink rather than red which is what I wanted and voila! We're not quite finished there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.